I finally get to meet you, Honorary Knight. I'm Noelle, a maid of the Knights of Favonius. Ah, oh, apologies. I've yet to officially join the Knights. As a maid, and in order to be worthy of this armor, I'm currently undergoing the Knights of Favonius chivalric training. Yes, I haven't passed the selection trials yet, but I've been asking senior knights for advice on how to become a true Knight of Favonius. I asked Amber how to make a Baron Bunny. Oh, and Kaya's been keeping me busy with various small tasks. <laughs> I even asked the Spark Knight to pass on her experiences, although <laughs> Master Jean grounded us shortly after. Actually, I have always wanted to receive guidance from the Honorary Knight. I, I was worried that it might be too presumptuous to ask. I I've seen you on the streets of Mondstadt occasionally, but I've always been too busy to disturb you. I just finished today's cleaning for the Knights and was about to start my training when I saw you. I... Oh, if it's not too much trouble, could I ask you for some guidance on my chivalric training? I, I'd like to get your opinion on something as a senior knight. I've been keeping up with my maidly duties and knightly exercises, but training progress has been a little slow. Uh, it's really all just cleaning and tidying. Roughly every other day, I do a major cleanup for the Knights of Favonius. Under the beds, the windowsills, nothing can be left out. The smallest corners are the most likely to gather dust. There are also all kinds of smaller domestic tasks, like preparing Captain Kaya's eye patch and helping Miss Lisa keep her bookshelves in order. I'm actually incredibly busy every day. It's just that I always feel like something's missing. St strength? But I think I'm pretty strong. Well, after he got drunk, I carried Mr. Bruce back to the Knights of Favonius headquarters myself. I also carried the library's new bookshelves over from Springvale. Even Mr. Huffman said I'm strong. Ah, of course. Oh, however, even though it's only training, I can't raise my sword against the honorary knight. Oh, I've got it. Let's go to the training ground at the Knights of Favonius headquarters. There should be some training dummies there. Are you here for the training, too? Oh, our honorary knight has come, too. Hi, Ellen. I was just asking the honorary knight for training advice. They want to see my basic skills first. Do you still have spare training dummies here? Oh, Noelle's basic skills, huh? Then the normal dummies won't do. Doesn't matter how we set them up, there'll be nothing left by the time Noelle's done with them. It is Noelle, after all. Let me think. How should I arrange them? Ah, I've got it. One moment. This will work much better for Noelle. Hmm. Could be a problem. There sure are a lot. Huh. It'll certainly require one heck of a cleanup. Why is Noelle... Is she planning to destroy them all in one go? Ah, <sighs> what a pity. So close. Wanna try again? Try again? She really got all of them! Whew! Finally, clean up over. You... Oh, you're too kind. Praise from the Honorary Knight is high praise indeed. But sadly, I'm afraid that my strength is the only thing I truly am confident in. Every time I train and compete with the Knights, I can't figure out how to use it. Even though I swing my blade with greater force than my opponent, 
I always seem to lose in the final moments. No matter how hard I train, I can never pass the selection trials. Oh, why? I just can't figure it out. Real-world fighting experience? I guess that's true. After all, if I were to leave the city, I wouldn't be there when people needed me. But you're right. I haven't had much real-world fighting experience. Where can I get some? Areas around Mondstadt. Slimes. Leave them to me. Here we are. Let's start with Dio Slimes. Lisa were here. No, I can't think like that. As a knight, I must rely on my own strength. Huh? But... That makes sense. If only I'd fought together with you just now. The camaraderie and solidarity of its members form the backbone of the Knights of Favonius. So that's what Article 8 of the Knights of Favonius Handbook really means. I never looked at it that way before. Me? You think I can choose a suitable target? Really? Let me think. Huh. I should avoid enemies that I find difficult, and consider the power of teamwork. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Ah! I've got it! I heard from Master Jean that there was a hilly trill camp nearby that often attacks traveling merchants. Even though driving away hilly trills is usually something for the knights, maybe this time I can do it. Great. You and me. Come 
come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. in time. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Freeze! I must leave no stone on... Thank the Animo Archon. Finally, I'm saved. Ah, uh, and thanks to Noel and the Honorary Knight, too. If it hadn't been for you two, I can't imagine what would have happened. You guys are here to save me, right? We were training nearby and happened to hear you calling my name. Luckily, we got here just in time. <laughs> I think I wanted to say help or Barbados protect me or something to that effect. I didn't even realize that I'd called out Noelle's name instead. I guess in Mondstadt we're just so used to calling Noelle's name when we're in trouble. Oh, it's fine. It's an honor to be able to help everyone. Not to mention, I might not have registered Henning's cry if that weren't the case. Still, good thing the hilly churls we encountered weren't too fierce. Ah, <sighs> thankfully, I was able to handle them. Huh? Not too fierce. I was so scared I couldn't even move my legs. Oh, really? I just did what I usually do. Oh, I guess so. I did have my mind set on not letting Henning get hurt. So if my intention is different, it can have a big effect on the outcome. You know... I think you're right. Whenever Noelle is helping us out, she's usually more powerful than in training. <laughs> uh, absolutely. No more of that. In any case, I'm extremely grateful to you both. No, no problem. Merely fulfilling my duties as a maid of Favonius. <clears throat> maid Noelle of the Knights of Favonius at your service.
are you here for the training too? Oh, our honorary knight has come too. Hi, Ellen. I was just asking the honorary knight for training advice. They want to see my basic skills first. Do you still have spare training dummies here? Oh, Noelle's basic skills, huh? Then the normal dummies won't do. Doesn't matter how we set them up, there'll be nothing left by the time Noelle's done with them. It is Noelle, after all. Let me think. How should I arrange them? Ah, I've got it. One moment. This will work much better for Noelle. Hmm. Could be a problem. There sure are a lot. Huh. It'll certainly require one heck of a cleanup. Why is Noelle... Is she planning to destroy them all in one go? <sighs> what a pity. So close. Wanna try again? She really got all of them! Whew. Finally, clean up over. Oh, you're too kind. Praise from the Honorary Knight is high praise indeed. But sadly, I'm afraid that my strength is the only thing I truly am confident in. Every time I train and compete with the Knights, I can't figure out how to use it. Even though I swing my blade with greater force than my opponent, I always seem to lose in the final moments. No matter how hard I train, I can never pass the selection trials. Oh, why? I just can't figure it out. More... strength? <sighs> but of course... Oh, compared to the honorary knight who defeated Storm Terror, I don't have nearly enough strength. Please teach me, honorary knight. How do you normally train? Mining? <laughs> you, you, you use your sword for mining? Oh, well then again, mining builds arm strength. And then there's the hiking between ore veins. Perhaps even a monster or two to fight along the way. Oh, so this is the honorary knight's training method, right? I must try it. No problem. Leave it to me. So we're really about to go mining? You two are something else. Ugh, fine. Let's go practice on some nearby outcrops. Monsters. That's just part of mining, right? Leave it to me. I might have heard that rock falls happen a lot around here. Keep your eyes open. Uh. Another monster? Uh, a miniature? Oh, looks like a tough opponent. I'll try to make this quick and easy. Noelle, slow down! Rockfalls can happen! I caused this? Oh, maybe. Could just be a coincidence. Huh? Whoa, what a rockfall. Ah, Miss Belinda. 
Is that you? Uh, is that Noel? And the honorary knight, too? Uh, are you hurt? Don't worry, I'm fine. I'd already passed through the rockfall zone on my patrol. There's actually been a lot of rockfalls here lately, but it's the first time I've seen one of such magnitude during my patrols. Did you guys see anything suspicious? Hmm, the more I think about it, surely nobody could be responsible for something of this scale. <sighs> Regardless, this will be difficult to clear. There are ore veins rich in reserves here, all blocked behind the boulders. Did you say ore veins? Yeah, I'll need to enlist some folks to clear this up quickly. Otherwise, how will we ever get to the ore? Hmm... The ore... So, once the boulders are out of the way, mining can start up again? Precisely, but a rockfall of this magnitude needs reporting to the knights first. Leave it to me! I think I can handle this. Huh? She smashed the boulders to pieces! <gasps> Look out! A stone-eyed lava churl! Stone-eyed lava churl? This must be the culprit behind the recent rock falls. I'll call for reinforcements. It's a lot bigger than me, but I should have the upper hand when it comes to strength. We'll be one step closer to mining once I've taken care of it. Leave it to me! <sighs> that was intense! Finally, a chance to catch your breath. Noel? One, two, three, four. Oh, still so many training targets. Uh, more enemies? Where? Are you guys okay? Noelle, you're okay, right? Hmm? Oh, I'm okay. Though I must say, my shoulders are sorer than usual. Ugh, compared to my normal cleaning duties, that is. I I'm ashamed to admit that, even though we try and get Noelle to take it easy, every time we get back from somewhere, she somehow single-handedly managed to clean the entire Knights of Favonius headquarters. Oh, oh, all in a day's work for a maid of Favonius. If I want to become a knight, I need to take all aspects of training seriously. So, honorary knight? The ore mining training? How, how did I do? R really? So under your personal guidance I completed the training? Oh, what an honor. Uh, next time, let's mine together. finally get to meet you, Honorary Knight. I'm Noelle, a maid of the Knights of Favonius. Ah, oh, apologies. I've yet to officially join the Knights. As a maid, and in order to be worthy of this armor, 
I'm currently undergoing the Knights of Avonia chivalric training. Yes, I haven't passed the selection trials yet, but I've been asking senior knights for advice on how to become a true Knight of Favonius. I asked Amber how to make a Baron Bunny. Oh, and Kai has been keeping me busy with various small tasks. <laughs> I even asked the Spark Knight to pass on her experiences, although <laughs> Master Jean grounded us shortly after. Actually, I have always wanted to receive guidance from the Honorary Knight. I, I was worried that it might be too presumptuous to ask. I I've seen you on the streets of Mondstadt occasionally, but I've always been too busy to disturb you. I just finished today's cleaning for the knights and was about to start my training when I saw you. I... Oh, if it's not too much trouble, could I ask you for some guidance on my chivalric training? So, as a senior knight, this is your suggestion? But as a maid, I'm only authorized to deal with smaller tasks. The Knights of Favonius is the strongest shield that Mondstadt has. How can I defend the people if I'm only ever dealing with minor matters? That's why I've always wanted to become a real Knight of Favonius. To have the power to help more people. Really? Even the Honorary Knight? I thought the Honorary Knight would only ever be busy with powerful enemies, like Storm Terror. Well, that is true. Come to think of it, whenever I see you in Mondstadt, you do always seem to be in a hurry. And the fact is, you're hurrying to help others. Oh, okay. Back to Mondstadt it is. Time for today's training to officially begin. Your point of view on these matters has truly been eye-opening for me. I have a lot to learn. Just like you said, from now on, I'm going to treat helping people with smaller tasks as a part of my training. Just thinking about it makes me feel more motivated than ever. Wow, Noelle's motivated all right. She's got that give me a commission before I take them all vibe. Someone! Anyone! Who's that? I, I need to help. Noelle! Oh, she's so fast. Let's catch up with her. There, there. Take your time. Try and take a deep breath first. And finally, I, I was saved. Well, my name's Noelle. Don't worry, sir. Everything's all right. I'll be protecting you from now on. So, where are you from? I don't think we've met in Mondstadt before. Thanks. I... I'm not from Mondstadt. My name is Aloise. I'm a traveling merchant. I was on my way to Mondstadt to acquire some of the reputed local wines, so I could take them back to Lyra. Little did I know... Uh, little did I know I'd run into savage monsters on the way. I mean... Savage! They were twice my height! I was so scared I ran all the way here until I just couldn't run anymore. Thank goodness I found you in this, uh, maid. It's okay, Mr. Aloise. We're not far from Mondstadt. Although I'm just an ordinary maid, the small task of escorting a visitor to the city is certainly within my power. Uh, uh escort me to Mondstadt? Perfect! Let's go! But, wait a moment. As a traveling merchant, you must have luggage and some goods. Don't worry. No matter the quantity, I'll carry them for you. Uh, luggage? Goods? Uh, yes. I remember now. The, the savage monsters I encountered? That's when I lost them! No, no, no need. These monsters are ferocious. Three times my height! Oh, rest easy. This is Mondstadt's Honorary Knight. No monster's too ferocious for him. Uh, honorary Knight? 
then you're a member of the Knights of Favonius? I, uh, I, I can't remember exactly. I, I was too busy running. But probably near that crossing in front of us, but, but I can't be sure. Oh, never mind. Wait, wait a minute. My chest. <laughs> A sudden pain in my chest. It must be all that running. Let's look for those things a little bit later. Oh, chest pain? Here, I've got you. Hold my arms and lie down slowly. Now do your best to relax. I will examine you. Uh, perhaps I... Uh, maybe you... I'm sorry. I must stay here to watch over our visitor. It looks like you'll need to handle the monsters. Oh, and please be careful. What's the hurry? Strange. No trace of... Whoa! Here they come! You're in for a little shock. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Huh? It's just a few ordinary slimes. Hyman didn't see any goods on the road. Is this the right place? Well, let's head back to Noel. night. Did you see Mr. Aloise's luggage on the way? Uh, perhaps the monsters ate it? Didn't I tell you? It's dangerous. Oh, you're not hurt, are you? Uh, um, what I meant was... When they jumped, they were thrice, uh, twice as tall as me. Why are you looking at me like that? Even if they were only slimes, I couldn't have fought them off. Oh, what can we do? If even the honorary knight can't find them? <laughs> I'm just a traveling merchant. You never know what's going to happen out here. Oh, well, it looks like Mondstadt was never meant to be. Perhaps next time. Oh, I'm very sorry. In these circumstances, I must ask you to register the quantity and nature of your lost property with the Knights of Favonius. I know that the knights will do their best to help you recover your goods. Ah! Uh, no, no, no. I couldn't possibly trouble the knights of Favonius. This matter, it really is beneath them. On the contrary. It's the duty of the knights to look after any visitors traveling to and from Mondstadt. As a maid, I must do my best in receiving and escorting such visitors. But then, perhaps there's something keeping you from going to the knights? <laughs> No, absolutely nothing. Hmm? Everything okay? Well, actually, I noticed that too. But since we don't have any evidence of wrongdoing, he deserves the benefit of the doubt. This gentleman was seeking help at the gates of Mondstadt, which makes him a guest of the city. Therefore, I must carry out my maidly duties. Ah. <sighs> Thank you for understanding. Hey, what are you discussing? So, what's next? Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. We've talked it over, and we've decided to escort you back to Mondstadt. Honorary Knight in Noel, were you two out on a mission? Wait, who is this person behind you? Uh, my name is Aloise. I'm a humble merchant. 
Ah, Mondstadt welcomes you, strange yet respectable traveler. Please state your identity and purpose. The Knights of Favonius are here to ensure your safety. Uh, <clears throat> I came to Mondstadt to import wines back to Lyre. I see, but are you not carrying any luggage or goods? I also don't see your name among the wine merchants that Mondstadt regularly deals with. I, it's my first time visiting Mondstadt, but I expect to come back often. Hmm. In that case, please show me the relevant documents issued by Liyue's Ministry of Civil Affairs. I need to verify your identity. Huh? What on earth is the mint? Oh, right, right. I, um, put them in my luggage. Luggage? Oh, our apologies. This gentleman was just attacked by a monster and lost both his luggage and his goods. Could you allow him to calm down a bit before we register him with the Knights? Hmm. According to Article 10 of the Knights of Favonius Handbook, caution should be exercised with regard to unfamiliar visitors. But Article 2 of the Knights of Favonius Handbook also says that one must not offend our visitors, right? <clears throat> well, in this situation, um... It seems the Knights of Favonius Handbook has a bit of an overlap. Well, if you are keeping watch, there shouldn't be a problem. After all, this is our honorary knight. The one who defended Mondstadt from the claws of the frenzied Storm Terror. Storm Terror? <laughs> Indeed. Good one. Well then, I'm counting on you two to take care of this gentleman while he's in Mondstadt. So, you're a wine merchant? Well, you must have excellent wine knowledge. Would you like to rest a while at Angel's Share? It's our signature tavern. Such a warm welcome. How could I refuse? Ah, uh, Angel's Share. So this barrel must be full with Mondstadt's celebrated wine, right? If only it could be imitated. Oh, uh, imported. That's the word. Sorry to keep you waiting. Drink up. This is a dandelion wine-based cocktail. I asked the bartender to add calla lily because it has a calming effect. I know you've been on the road for a long time, and cold drinks would be bad for your stomach. So I requested less ice. I hope it's to your liking. Calming. Is this what they give to all visitors in Mondstadt? <laughs> okay then. On another note, that drinks made me realize just how empty my stomach is. Oh, so you're hungry too. Oh, how terrible of me. If I'd realized, I would have saved some pancakes for you. Ooh, good idea. That sounds like a good place. Come in, take a seat. Today's recommendation is the steak. Mm, smells incredible. So it's true. If you really want to sell Mondstadt wines, you can't do without Mondstadt dishes. Maybe recipes will be easier to obtain than the brewing process. Oh, uh, what I mean is, the dandelion wine brewing process is unique, difficult to imitate. That's why we merchants can buy with confidence. <laughs> Where was I? Let's see, what's on the menu? Hmm, so many dishes. Hard to decide. Can I help? Uh, sure. What do you suggest? Hmm. Well, do you prefer red meat or white? I like them both. The steaks here are cuts of freshly shipped Springvale boar. I'd recommend having it served medium to really bring out the natural sweetness of the meat. Mmm. Oh, Sweet Madame is another specialty. Crispy skin and tender meat goes perfectly with wine. However, those dishes alone aren't very healthy from a nutritional standpoint. 
I recommend a mushroom pizza and a satisfying salad, too, on the side. If that sounds okay, I'll place the order for you. This meal is on me, to make up for my inattentiveness. That's too generous of you. Please, enjoy. After all, it's your first meal here as a new visitor. And your last. I wouldn't want to give you the cold shoulder. Huh? <laughs> my, my last? Uh, you give this meal to all new visitors, right? <laughs> oh, okay, then. How about with wind comes glory? For our final stop, I want to leave Mr. Aloise with something to commemorate his time here. So, that's the final stop, yes? Wait, what are we commemorating? Oh, here's your order, Noel. Thanks, Marjorie. Mr. Eloise, please accept this souvenir. Uh, thanks. I will treasure this wood carving for a... Huh? Wait, what's on that? Is that the insignia of the Knights of Favonius? I, Maid Noel, on behalf of Mondstadt and the Knights of Favonius, officially welcome you. Wait, Knights of Favonius? How can you be both a maid and a part of the Knights of Favonius? So, so this gift is also a... So, just a regular souvenir? Uh, I'm afraid this is all I had time for. However, I hope it leaves you with a lasting impression of your trip to Mondstadt. I, I really don't understand why you went to all this trouble. I don't have any goods or relevant documents. Plus, I don't exactly look like your everyday honest merchant. Even if there were nothing to suggest otherwise, surely it would have been better to take me straight to the Knights for investigation. And yet you still went to all this effort to prepare all this for me. Didn't you wonder whether the savage monsters, the missing cargo, what if it were all lies? Why would I think that? I'm just doing what a maid of Favonius should do. Knights of Favonius Handbook Article 2. Do not exhibit suspicion or hostility towards visitors, no matter how suspicious they may seem. You are a visitor from far away. You should be welcomed by me and by Mondstadt, even if there really is only a slight possibility that everything you say is true. Being attacked by savage monsters, losing goods and documents, isn't it times like these that people need help the most? And if I had failed to offer our hospitality on such an occasion, despite there being no evidence to back up your claims, well, that's not the way a maid of Favonia should behave. I see. Well, thank you. It's time for me to leave Mondstadt. Huh? Why the hurry? We haven't recovered your lost property yet. No need. I've just remembered where I left them. Somewhere far, far away. I'll be sure to keep a better eye on them next time. Perhaps when I'm a visitor worthy of your hospitality, I can return to Mondstadt. Um, I'm not sure I fully understand what you mean. But if you think you can retrieve your lost property, that's great. What a short trip. But thank you for your care and hospitality. I've learned a lot. <sighs> Goodbye, Mondstadt. Goodbye, Maid of the Knights of Favonius. Ah, uh, okay then. Goodbye. Mondstadt and I, Maid Noel of the Knights of Favonius, will always welcome you when you return.
Honorary Night in Noel. Were you two out on a mission? Wait, who is this person behind you? Uh, my name is Aloise. I'm a humble merchant. Ah, Mondstadt welcomes you, strange yet respectable traveler. Please state your identity and purpose. The Knights of Favonius are here to ensure your safety. Uh, <clears throat> I came to Mondstadt to import wines back to Lyre. I see, but are you not carrying any luggage or goods? I also don't see your name among the wine merchants that Mondstadt regularly deals with. I, it's my first time visiting Mondstadt, but I expect to come back often. Hmm. In that case, please show me the relevant documents issued by Liyue's Ministry of Civil Affairs. I need to verify your identity. Huh? What on earth is the mint? Oh, right, right. I, um, put them in my luggage. Luggage? Oh, our apologies. This gentleman was just attacked by a monster and lost both his luggage and his goods. Could you allow him to calm down a bit before we register him with the Knights? Hmm. According to Article 10 of the Knights of Favonius Handbook, caution should be exercised with regard to unfamiliar visitors. But Article 2 of the Knights of Favonius Handbook also says that one must not offend our visitors, right? <clears throat> well, in this situation, um... It seems the Knights of Favonius Handbook has a bit of an overlap. Hmm. If Noel is willing to vouch for him, then I can rest easy. Oh, I'm just doing my job. Most reliable. I've got a ways to go, but I will try to live up to that. Well then, I'm counting on you two to take care of this gentleman while he's in Mondstadt. So, you're a wine merchant? Well, you must have excellent wine knowledge. Would you like to rest a while at Angel Share? It's our signature tavern. Such a warm welcome. How could I refuse? Ah, uh, Angel Share. So this barrel must be full with Mondstadt's celebrated wine, right? If only it could be imitated. Oh, uh, imported. That's the word. Sorry to keep you waiting. Drink up. This is a dandelion wine-based cocktail. I asked the bartender to add calla lily because it has a calming effect. I know you've been on the road for a long time, and cold drinks would be bad for your stomach. So I requested less ice. I hope it's to your liking. Calming? Is this what they give to all visitors in Mondstadt? <laughs> uh, because you know I'm interested in Mondstadt wines? Yes. Just interested, mind you. On another note, that drink's made me realize just how empty my stomach is. Oh, so you're hungry too. Oh, how terrible of me. If I'd realized, I would have saved some pancakes for you. Ooh, good idea. That sounds like a good place. Smells incredible. So, it's true. If you really want to sell Mondstadt wines, you can't do without Mondstadt dishes. Maybe recipes will be easier to obtain than the brewing process. Oh, uh, what I mean is, the dandelion wine brewing process is unique, difficult to imitate. That's why we merchants can buy with confidence. <laughs> Where was I? Let's see. What's on the menu? Hmm, so many dishes. Hard to decide. Can I help? Uh, sure. What do you suggest? Hmm, well, do you prefer red meat or white? I like them both. The steaks here are cuts of freshly shipped Springvale boar. I'd recommend having it served medium to really bring out the natural sweetness of the meat. Mmm. Oh, sweet madame is another specialty. Crispy skin and tender meat goes perfectly with wine. However, those dishes alone aren't very healthy from a nutritional standpoint. 
I recommend a mushroom pizza and a satisfying salad, too, on the side. If that sounds okay, I'll place the order for you. This meal is on me, to make up for my inattentiveness. That's too generous of you. Please, enjoy. After all, it's your first meal here as a new visitor. And your last. I wouldn't want to give you the cold shoulder. Huh? <laughs> my, my last? Uh, you give this meal to all new visitors, right? Wait, is it really my last meal? Ah, uh, <laughs> so that's what it means. Well, then I better make the most of it. How about with wind comes glory? For our final stop, I want to leave Mr. Aloise with something to commemorate his time here. So, that's the final stop, yes? Wait, what are we commemorating? Oh, here's your order, Noel. Thanks, Marjorie. Mr. Aloise, please accept this souvenir. Uh, thanks. I will treasure this wood carving for a... Huh? Wait, what's on that... Is that the insignia of the Knights of Favonius? I, Maid Noel, on behalf of Mondstadt and the Knights of Favonius, officially welcome you. Wait, Knights of Favonius? How can you be both a maid and a part of the Knights of Favonius? So, so this gift is also a... So it's a, a warning? Oh, I'm afraid this is all I had time for. However, I hope it leaves you with a lasting impression of your trip to Mondstadt. Now then, if you wouldn't mind accompanying me to the Knights of Favonius, the registration process only requires. Ah, uh, no need. I, I suddenly I remember where I lost my luggage. Oh, well then we should at least go and file a report with the Knights. Nope, not necessary. Uh, now that the danger's passed, I'll just head over and retrieve it. Huh? But what about the savage monsters? For your protection, I feel strongly that one of our knights should escort you there. Or perhaps it's a little too soon, but I'll escort you. Let's go. <sighs> oh, you want to escort him yourself? Oh, well, that would certainly put my mind at rest. In that case... I'll report the situation to Swan. Let's meet back at the gates of the city a little later. Please take care of Mr. Aloise. So this is the end? Meaning this is a good spot? Archon's above! Oh, honorable knight, please have mercy! Forgive me! I'll confess. I'll confess to everything. I was planning to investigate Mondstadt's dandelion wine to see if I could find a way to imitate it. I didn't expect you to see right through it from the start. Please, I... I never actually did anything. It's attempted fraud at worst, right? Tell me it isn't punishable by death. Or or is it because you have no intention to try me at all? Which explains why you didn't expose me in the city. You simply chose a location to kill me. Spare me, noble n I, What? Go? I can go? Really? Of course, with you and the maid around, who would dare? Y yes, sir. I, I understand. Goodbye, most honorable honorary knight. So, he really did have ulterior motives. Should we tell Noel? Let's head back and see how she's doing first. You're back! Eh? Well, 
how come Mr. Eloise isn't with you? Left? Already? Left Mondstadt? Uh, and I didn't even get around to arranging his accommodations. Or introducing the wine merchants to him. Oh, I must have been negligent in some way. Did I leave him with a bad impression of Mondstadt? Why else would he have left without a farewell? Oh, I, I couldn't even handle the smallest of tasks. You're just trying to make me feel better. Thank you, but I must have done something wrong. Our visitor would never have left in such a hurry. How can I ever become a real Knight of Favonius like this? Today's no good for going out. Hmm. Did I say that yesterday as well? Honorary Knight, I'm Noelle, a maid of the Knights of Favonius. Ah, oh, apologies. I've yet to officially join the Knight as a maid, and in order to be worthy of this armor, I'm currently undergoing the Knights of Favonius chivalric training. Yes, I haven't passed the selection trials yet, but I've been asking senior knights for advice on how to become a true Knight of Favonius. I asked Amber how to make a Baron Bunny. Oh, and Kaya's been keeping me busy with various small tasks. <laughs> I even asked the Spark Knight to pass on her experiences, although <laughs> Master Jean grounded us shortly after. Actually, I have always wanted to receive guidance from the Honorary Knight. I, I was worried that it might be too presumptuous to ask. I've seen you on the streets of Mondstadt occasionally, but I've always been too busy to disturb you. I just finished today's cleaning for the knights and was about to start my training when I saw you. I... Oh, if it's not too much trouble, could I ask you for some guidance on my chivalric training? I, I'd like to get your opinion on something as a senior knight. I've been keeping up with my maidly duties and knightly exercises, but training progress has been a little slow. You know, just basic strength and endurance training. A hundred push-ups, a hundred sit-ups, a hundred squats. And running two laps around Mondstadt as a morning routine. I'm actually incredibly busy every day. It's just that I always feel like something's missing. Rest? But... Oh, I've still got so much work to do. Besides, I'm still not skilled enough. Any free time that I get should be spent training. If I want to become a real knight soon, I have to continue to put in more effort than the others. But... time is precious. If I rest... I'll feel guilty. Oh... I really hadn't thought about that. Resting? For the sake of training. Oh, so that's why Miss Lisa always has afternoon tea in the library. Uh, I get it now. Oh, oh okay. Are there any particular snacks you like? I can get started with... Oh, no need? I should take a break? Oh, okay then. In that case, let's head to Good Hunter and have a look. Noel! B? What happened? Is there something I can help you with? Quinn! He's ignoring me again. Oh, take your time, no rush. I'm here to help. I... I noticed Quinn was in a bad mood, so I wanted to call him over for a chat. And 
a date, I guess. Oh, a d date? So it's that kind of a problem? Yes. I've been over to him several times today already. But no matter how hard I try to make conversation, he just focuses on a stall and ignores me completely. Noel, everyone in Mondstadt thinks you're really cute. You must be really popular, right? Can you help me out? Ah, uh, of, of course. It's a maid's responsibility to help the residents of Mondstadt. It's just, I... I don't have any experience in this area. <sighs> Even Noel can't help me. Oh, please, don't worry, I... Oh, we also have the Honorary Knight here. Honorary Knight, can you help me? Oh, <sighs> thank you. Okay, B said that Quinn always seems busy and ignores everything she says. But I know that she's often looking for small talk with Quinn. That's a possibility. In other words, we just need to make Quinn realize that this time is different. For example, by sending him a little gift. Even Quinn would notice the difference a gift would bring. But what kind of gift? Hmm. That's what I think. Everyone has their preferences, so it's important to choose the right gift if you want to get through to them. If it were me, I'd want roses. As for you, Honorary Knight, hmm, I bet you like handmade things. Oh, yes, I... I just wanted to try thinking from a different perspective. Hmm, Quinn, what kind of gift would he like? If I remember correctly, isn't Quinn one of the four drunkards of Mondstadt? Perhaps something wine-related would do, but what? Hmm, well, simply thinking about it isn't really helping. Let's go to Marjorie's store and see what's available. Welcome to With Wind Comes Glory. Well, if it isn't Noelle and the Honorary Knight. And what wind brought the two of you together? I barely ever see Noelle in someone else's company. Well, when Noelle's working, she practically always takes care of things by herself. And once she's finished with A, it's straight off to take care of B. Seems she hardly has time to catch her breath. Say, Noelle, you're not a child anymore, you know? If you don't take time out for yourself, you may come to regret it in the future. I, um, decided to take a break today. But something came up. Oh? So it's a day off with the honorary night? Oh, how wonderful! That's something to celebrate. You must be here to pick out a gift for the honorary night. Choose anything you like. We have a lot that might tickle your fancy. Aw, so shy. No use denying it, though. Stop teasing! Me and the Honorary Knight don't have that kind of relationship. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, I guess. After all, Noelle here is the type that needs a push every now and again. But looks like she's still in the dark when it comes to these things. I, I just feel... I shouldn't let such things distract me from my chivalric training. Yes, there are too many important things to take care of. Okay, okay, no more teasing. So, what is the reason for this visit? So, you're choosing a gift for B to give to Quinn. In that case, I have a couple of fun new things in stock. A frosting bottle and a squirrel wood carving. The frosting bottle is very useful to keep alcohol cold and fresh for a long time. As for the squirrel wood carving, well, it's a nice ornament and it would look great at Quinn's stall. So, bottle or ornament, which will it be? The frosting bottle. A fitting gift for one of the four drunkards. They remembered what I said. Aww. So frosting bottle it is? Alrighty, let me wrap it up for you. 
Okay, now that the gift is wrapped, Come take a look. let's hurry back and give it to B. Huh? Give the frosting bottle to Quinn? It does look like something that he'd be interested in. Wait, wait. Maybe I can use the gift as bait. I could say that if he wants to get the gift, then he'll have to come on a date with me first. Thank you both so much! With this gift, there's no way Quinn will be able to refuse me. Uh-huh. Is that how gifts work? Well, as long as it helps. <sighs> oh no! What's wrong? The gift? Is there something wrong with the gift? No, no, it's not the gift. I've been so focused on convincing Quinn, I hadn't even thought about where our date's gonna be. I've never gotten to that stage. Noelle, could you help me? <sighs> A date should be properly planned, so I'll wait. No need to rush. Just, uh, leave it to me. A date? Hmm. We'll need a place with pleasant scenery and a quiet atmosphere. Let's look around. If we see anywhere good, let's take a picture and let B have the final say. Oh, there's a beautiful and touching tale about Cape Oath. Maybe that would be a good spot. Falcon Coast from here. Such a beautiful view. Let's find a good angle and take a picture. Let's head to Star Snatch Cliff next. Star Snatch Cliff. Another beautiful location, and so elevated. This place is super famous for its nightscape. from the top. It's nearly time for afternoon tea. Should do it. Oh. Look 
Over there! The Windrise Tree! Symbol of the great hero, Vanessa! You're pretty excited, huh, Noel? Sorry. Where were we? Nice! The scenery here is pretty good, too. Small... Rivers and soft shadows under the... That should do it. Let's get back to B. Oh, you guys are back. What romantic locations did you find? Wait, aren't there people here already? I don't want other people ruining the atmosphere while we're on the date. Let's look at another place. How... how about Windrise? May your love be as free as a dandelion. Windrise? Hmm, that's a great location. But isn't it a bit cliché? Huh? Cl cliché Well, old folks are always going on about something symbolic about that place. Besides, we've been there so many times when we were young. It just feels like there's nothing special or new about it. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I'm going with Kaboth. Thanks so much. I'm off to find Quinn. <sighs> Quinn. I wonder what kind of oath he'll make to me. Uh. Is Windrise no longer popular? But. The book said that it was the most popular place in Mondstadt. Uh, I'm not sure. I found it while cleaning a corner of the library. It was the story of Windrise and Lady Vanessa. I thought folks in Mondstadt would still like to go there. Huh? You wanna go to Windrise? Oh, okay. Follow me. here really refreshes you in an instant. Forget about training and work. Just breathe and feel the wind. <sighs> Nothing else. <sighs> That's true. But training and work are still the things I need to focus on. If I didn't take them seriously, I wouldn't be a reliable maid. Yes, to some degree, but Lady Vanessa and Master Jean, well, they worked much harder than me. I know I have a lot to live up to. That's why I want to become a real Knight of Favonius, to help more people. R really Thank you. If you weren't here today, I wouldn't have been able to help B. It's just a small token of appreciation, but I hope you'll accept it. Roses are my favorite flower. This is a paper one that I folded by hand. Of course. In Mondstadt, roses represent the saying, As wine bottles are corked, so too my lips are sealed. I have seen and learned a lot during our time together. It will become a wonderful memory. One that I will savor. Again and again, I want it to remain in my heart and become a secret between the two of us. Ah, <sighs> wait, do you mean that roses have some meaning that I don't know about? Oh, I'll need to go back to the library and find out. Still, whatever a rose means, I hope that this one can stay by your side in all your future adventures. Before I'm able to fight alongside you, Honorary night.
is no good for going out. <laughs> Are there any particular snacks you like? I can get started with... Oh, no need? I should take a break? Noel! B? What happened? Is there something I can help you with? Quinn! He's ignoring me again. But take your time, no rush. I'm here to help. I... Noticed Quinn was in a bad mood, so I wanted to call him over for a chat. And a date, I guess. Oh, a d date? So it's that kind of a problem? Yes. I've been over to him several times today already. But no matter how hard I try to make conversation, he just focuses on his stall and ignores me completely. Noel, everyone in Mondstadt thinks you're really cute. You must be really popular, right? Can you help me out? Ah, uh, of, of course. It's a maid's responsibility to help the residents of Mondstadt. It's just, I... I don't have any experience in this area. <sighs> Even Noel can't help me. Well, please, don't worry, I... Oh, we also have the Honorary Knight here. Honorary Knight, can you help me? Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. But as a maid of Favonius, I can't stand idly by when people are in need. I'll do some serious planning and make sure we can have a day off together another time. Indeed. But today, can you help me come up with a solution? Oh, thank you. Okay. B said that Quinn always seems busy and ignores everything she says. But, I know that she's often looking for small talk with Quinn. That's a possibility. In other words, we just need to make Quinn realize that this time is different. For example, by sending him a little gift. Even Quinn would notice the difference a gift would bring. But what kind of gift? Hmm. Are you sure? I still feel the choice of gift matters, no matter what kind of relationship two people share. But I don't have any experience in this area. I'm sure you're right. Then, if the gift doesn't matter, the choices are limitless. Oh, I can't decide. Do you have any ideas? Huh. Will this really get his attention? Oh, okay then. In that case, let's head to Good Hunter and have a look. going to get Quinn to listen to me. Uh, Mondstadt grilled fish? For Quinn? I have often said that I would bring him lunch. Would this really work? Hmm. Well, since it's Noelle's recommendation, I'll give it a try. Oh, I hope Quinn understands Bee's intentions. And I hope we were a help this time. Oh, apologies, by the way. I said we would take a break and ended up bothering you instead. Oh, if you're peckish, just let me know. I can whip something up for you right away. Oh, sorry. Old habits die hard. You know, I... I'm still a little worried about how B is doing. There's no stopping you once you're concerned about someone, huh? Come on, then. Let's... Huh. B? 
Oh, I know well. So, <clears throat> did you get a, a date with Quinn? <sighs> I barely want to talk about it. I hadn't even given him the Mondstadt grilled fish when he muttered something about not having an appetite and not wanting to eat. I can't force him to eat, can I? Looks like I'll just have to try to ask him out some other time. Uh, I must apologize. Next time, I'll help you find a much better gift. No need. It should be me apologizing. I was worried and dumped everything on you. It's obvious, thinking about it now. Noelle can't be good at everything. Oh. It's okay. This isn't your fault. I don't blame you. I... I have to get going. Oh, please. Take care. I'm... I'm fine. It's just... I feel bad that I couldn't help be. Well, you're not wrong. But if I give up so easily, then the next time someone needs help, I'll mess up again. I may not know much about this sort of thing, but at the very least, I should try to learn something about it. I'm... I'm going to the Knights of Avonia's library. There must be some guidance there on the subject of love. The next time I encounter a situation like this, I'll be able to help. Can Noelle really handle a subject as big as love by herself? We should head to the library and see how she's doing. Since you've already noticed, I guess I can let you lend a hand. Ah, so that's how it works. When you meet the person who inspires your affections, you have to find a way to do things together with them. Hmm. Even if not old enough to drink, one should still learn to discuss the different qualities of wine. I see. So you need to know how to make yourself interesting, to draw people's attention. Oh, so, oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. I was deep in concentration. I borrowed every book on love from the library that I could find. When I finished reading them, I'll finally be able to give decisive recommendations for next time. Even if it is me. Well, let's see. For example, Vera's Melancholy, Heart of Clear Springs. Well, all of them contain detailed records of the experience of love. As a maid... My experience leaves a lot to be desired, so I found the quickest way was to take examples from the classics. There's also a guide to tavern chat and shortcuts to love. These are much more practical in nature. And of course, there are even books that focus on theories of love. And then there's this one. This book's about... Um, hmm. Hmm? N no Nothing! This book... It's too early to read this book. L let's look at another one. You have to learn the basics first, after all. Uh, so this book is about... Huh? S same as that one? Guess this must be a pretty... common topic. <sighs> Looks like I still have a lot to learn.